what's going on everybody welcome to my 2024 new york giants mock draft if you're in the mock drafts you're in the right place whether you're a giants fan or not comment below let me know your thoughts on this mock draft but hang tight to the end because i'm going to explain why i chose everything that i chose and i have a lot to get off my chest about the new york giants and how they did in 2023 but all of that can take and change going into next year so let's jump into it it's no secret they need a quarterback they they resign Danny Dimes. Uh, it's crazy. He's a quarterback. Has a cool nickname that he didn't earn. Um, look, the guy's been clutch in tight at times being, but he he's not he's not a franchise quarterback. He cannot take you to the promised land. So why waste your time? That's like almost a, a woman marrying a guy who you know, or sorry, a woman being in a relationship with a guy that she wants to get married, but he don't want to marry her. This guy is he doesn't have the skills to get the job done. He does not have the skills to have matrimony and ultimately make love to the Giants so they can win a damn Super Bowl. I almost wonder what the hell happened in 2000, the 2022 season where the Giants just shocked the world. And then last year they sucked. They were absolutely trash. There was injuries and, and other stuff like that, but they they took a huge step back and, and I wasn't expecting this. That being said, they need a new quarterback. I understand they have Danny for a few more years, man. Uh, that contract, look, you can you can get rid of quarterbacks. You can take on part of the salary. This stuff you can do, but don't waste other people's careers because because you're locked in with a, a big contract for a big name quarterback, right? So that being said, I have Jaden Daniels. Okay, Heisman winner, brand new attitude, six foot three. This guy, he plays with all heart, accurate quarterback, can make plays with his legs, um, not a, not afraid to push the ball down the damn field, man. He's a naturally accurate passer. passer. Um, this guy, he makes NFL throws already. I'm excited to see what he looks like. He may potentially be the number one quarterback off the board, and we could be saying Caleb Williams is a giant, right? There, there's there's stuff that could potentially happen, but we'll, we'll see what happens. This is definitely going to take and be interesting. Um, I, I think... When it comes to quarterbacks, the, the NFL combine is ultimately what's going to decide, you know, who's going to be top three. I have a Kayla Williams, possibly Drake May, and then Jaden Daniels right after that. OK, uh, moving on. I have Cooper BB, offensive guard, Kansas State. This guy is arguably, arguably top two, top three, maybe even the number one guard in this year's draft class. Six foot four, 322 pounds. According to Scouting Report, BB is the excellent is excellent pass protection thanks to a strong base and consistent well-placed hands inside the chest of the defender's frame his athleticism is good enough to routinely be featured on poles and he effectively landmarks on the second layer of defenses although bb is not an elite athlete his strength and activity level to become a very good nfl starter early in his career is definitely possible that's by uh ian valentino that's one of the scouting reports so yeah man you gotta sure up that o-line man because anybody whether they even if they don't go quarterback and they go o-line they need people to be healthy there needs to be a running game that not having an o-line affects everything ask the miami dolphins okay so you gotta have a good offensive line okay uh moving on i went linebacker cedric gray cedric gray check this out y'all he in his college career, 340 tackles, 28 tackles for loss, eight sacks, five interceptions, 12 pass breakups, five forced fumbles, and five fumble recoveries. This guy is everywhere. I don't know if, if there's any Dragon Ball Z fans in the house, but you know when the guys fight and they're, and they're teleporting? I think of that. This guy plays like a superhero in a movie. He's dope. It, it's very hard to find any knocks on him. Now, obviously, when the combine happens, this guy could potentially easily be a first round pick. But um, right now in the mock drafts, he's fallen in a lot of, you know, round two, may, early round three. But no later than round two, this guy's going to be gone. So I have Cedric Gray going to going to the New York Giants. I think it's going to be a great pick. Then I have James Williams. Y'all, one of the best safeties in this year's draft. Let me tell you about James Williams. Y'all, he's six foot five, 218 pounds. Imagine if. Uh, I'm showing my age a little bit here, but Patrick Willis used to play for the 49ers, now retired. Imagine if he was a safety and he's just hanging out in the back of the field, waiting for you to take and catch your little route to knock the brakes off of you, to hit you so hard, you got to go on the sideline to catch your breath. That's James Williams, six foot five, 220 pounds. Um, 
According to Ian Cummins, his scouting report says he's a force of destruction as a support defender, using his size and explosiveness to levy hard hits. And in coverage, he has enough fluidity and instincts to hold his own. When you watch the tape, I'm not sure there's too many words. That's the closest it comes to breaking down his tape. He hits very, very hard. And uh, when it comes to the point of attack, when the ball's at the midpoint of the air, uh, when the receiver's going to catch it, he has a great sense of where the ball is at all times, man. So I'm a huge fan of this guy. Uh, any team, look, even if you have a safety, if you take you get James Williams, you ain't nobody going to complain because <laughs> he's that good of a player, right? So, yeah, I'm excited for him. I think he'd be great on the Giants, and he's going to, you know, I went back-to-back defensive picks for pick 47 and pick 70 because they need to sharp their defense too. So I try to be as well, well-rounded well as possible on uh, for this mock draft. Moving on, I have wide receiver out of Arizona, Jacob Cowing. Jacob is a dog. If you guys took us saw the bowl game that he played in, he took part in, he took part in a freaking slaughter, man. Jacob Cowan is all that in a bag of chips. Lots of touchdowns. He gets separation, super duper twitchy. He's the type of guy that, you know, um, you can win with. And one thing I noticed when it came to the Giants, other than, um, you know, the, the, the receiver they got in last year's draft, uh, Hilton, I believe it was, he got separation, but the quarterback, they, they just were not, they were not connecting. Him and Danny Dimes were not connecting like that, right? So um, I think having another receiver in there and then showing up the O-line, and you want to beef up your receiver core to also take pressure off of other other parts of the offense. So, man, I don't know. I think I think Jacob Callum, Callum would be great. And to see what he did for Arizona, he's already, in my opinion, he's already playing at an NFL level. Then we have offensive tackle Roger Rosengarten, man. Very, very good guy. A little stiff at the hips, man. But that's a guy that could potentially be a full-time starter in a year or two. Um, maybe you'll see time as rookie year, man. But that's, again, we got to fix the offensive line. This is kind of a depth signing right here, um, but he could also play. I could see him playing guard as well, too. Then there's a guy I want to talk about, man. Very, very, very special young man. Uh, grew up grew up in uh, Freehold, New Jersey, man. This guy is a beast, MJ Wright. I've actually had him on this show. Now, if you're not familiar with this show and it's your first time watching this, or you may you watch a few episodes but not sure I do this, I have one of the biggest NFL draft prospect series, interview series on the internet. I had the pleasure of having MJ on this show. And man, the guy, uh, he walks the walk and talks the talk. When you see him do off the field, he does on the field as well, too. This young man, six foot tall, 192 pounds, is a speedster, gets separation, and he's a hard man to tackle. Very, very, very hard man to tackle. Let's go. Let's pull up his stats here. Oh, in the last two years, he has over 2,000 yards, 970 yards and seven touchdowns last year. And the year before that, he had 1,151 yards and 11 touchdowns. Dude is a beast. Uh, his his top three longest plays were 64 yards, 79 yards, and two years ago, oh, excuse me, three years ago, it was 54 yards. This dude is amazing. I don't show any history of fumbles or anything like that. Has glue type hands, not hands of stone, glue type hands. So great, great hands. And this is a guy that you can win with. And what, what's dope is that man, he's he's from the area. So I like to see a local guy take and get in there. Uh he's mark my word, MJ Wright is one of the biggest draft gems of this year's NFL draft. So anyway, that's my mock draft for the New York Giants. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on here. You guys, the good people of Touchdown Nation got to say. And maybe you hate this mock draft as well, too. I've been getting a lot of heat, but I've been getting a lot of love, man. Don't worry. I can handle the spice. So go down below. If you don't like it, let me know. Comment below. Hit that subscribe button. God bless you guys. And I'll see you next time on the touchdown with Doug. Thank you for watching another episode of the touchdown with Doug Smith, where we have exclusive NFL content and exclusive NFL interviews. Be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. Follow us on social media. See you on the next one.